G'day. In today's episode, I'm opening up a MSI GL75 Leopard 10SDK 285AU. And this particular one I'm opening up to have a look and see which fan needs to be replaced as one of these fans is creating a fair bit of noise. But while we're opening it up, I will quickly talk about what can be replaced. Need a Phillips head screwdriver and let's get cracking. So we need to take out all these screws of which I would say the vast majority of them are probably the same length. Maybe the hinge ones might be different. We'll find out. I believe this one is a temp gen with a GTX or a GTX 1660 in it. But I haven't fired up to find out for sure. Now, that screw doesn't want to leave. There is a warranty sticker on the side and that we will be puncturing. Two things about the warranty sticker. One, this machine's probably past its warranty anyway. And two, if you do puncture the warranty sticker, it's on the, uh, the company to prove that what you changed or did in there actually caused the fault. If you've opened it up to add more RAM and your SSD dies, that should not be a warranty item issue. Also, if you added RAM in and you've blown the battery, then I believe that would be a warranty issue. Or if you actually know that would be your fault, too bad, too sad. Little screw went at the back here. Assumably, little screw goes at the back here too. Little screw at the back, one there. Uh, one screw down here that doesn't want to leave. I'll just keep unscrewing. There we go. That looks to be all screws removed. If all screws removed, I want to make and start to try and pry it open, which I'll do at this end here, just for the sake of starting on a corner. There we go. Do need to be cautious on this side with the, more, with the USBs on it. Card reader, one USB, two USB. I should be able to, what I want to do is lift and pull back. And that should hopefully disconnect it at the rear. No, it's being a little bit stubborn. Let's switch it around the other side. Go, maybe a hidden screw. No, I'm not feeling one. Lift it up and back, and we're in. So next up from here, we can see one battery here, held in by a single screw. That will take out for the sake of this demo. If you do want to change the RAM and the SSD, I would recommend disconnecting. One, two things I can see. One, we have a SATA 2.5 inch drive here. Just connect up straight up to there. Looks to be maybe a hard drive enclosure was there at one point in time. And looking over here, we have a CMOS battery, a replacement Wi-Fi antenna, or replaceable Wi-Fi antenna. But what we came here to look for while I'm in here is this location. Sadly here, I can see on a model that is in this one, there's an optional other NVMe drive here that could be installed. This one does not have that function. We've only got the single NVMe, and the 2.5 inch drive over there. To replace the NVMe drive, I we'll have the battery disconnected, undo this Phillips head screw, and with that removed, we should be able to lift up slightly. There is a silicon heat pad under there. Lift up and wiggle back. We have one SSD removed. This one, I can't actually see the company on here. See the model of CL18D 
512, so I'm assuming a 512 gig NVMe. Let me put that back in. I just need to put it in at a better 35 degree angle and push down. So I'm just going to kind of slide that in on an angle and push into these gold pins that disappeared. Like that. Push down, screw back in. And similar with the RAM, except with the RAM we've got to pull it out. So if we grab these metal tabs and pull it out, and lift wiggle out from there. We have this notch here, goes to here. That'll be important in just a second. We have eight gig of PC4 or DDR4 2666, which is perfectly fine for the Intel chip that's in here. You can update these to two eights, or sorry, two sixteens. Might probably wouldn't really go two thirty twos, but two sixteens would be a good upgrade. Similar to the NVMe, put it on an angle and then pull down. Do take note of this notch here. The notch, the notch, the notch, matches up down here. Make it so the gold pins are, co are covered, push down, should click in like that. If that clicked in, we should be fine. Now I want to test out these fans. I'm going to disconnect one, turn the laptop on, hit the button to go full boost and then turn it off and see what happens from there. So I'm going to conclude that it's probably going to spin up quite heavily and hopefully when I hit the button to turn it off, it will hear it slow down and then I can figure it all out from there. This part I'll just do quickly off camera. Another easy way, I've just found out what fan it was, but I should have done this first. Didn't have to disconnect the fan, probably could have just left it going. A simple fan flick while it's off. CPU fan over here, GPU fan here. It does not want to spin. This one's quite happy to spin. This one is stop stopping as soon as there's no force on it. So one unhappy fan over here. So GPU fan has failed on here. But anyway, now that we covered NVMe, RAM, quickly about the fan, I will be tearing this apart at a later stage once I get the replacement part. And over here, you could install a 2.5 inch drive and you update your Wi-Fi driver or potentially change your battery here, which looks like a six cell battery. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that goes in here like so. Put that screw back in. And then from here, I'm fine to reinstall the back cover, as I now know what needs to be done. GPU fan has failed, or is failing. Did give it a quick dust blowout while it was there. A little bit of dust came out. Next up, I find I try and hook it over these connections over here first and work my way down. So hopefully, I'll get that over the back. Maybe I start over the back first. There we go. Push down. Slightly stuck there. Still not quite right over this. Let's sit a bit better. That's still being very stubborn. This part here is being a bit tricky. More tricky than I would normally expect it. sitting there. There we go. Bingo, now we're sitting alright. Now, 
Just remember, small screws go at the back. And all the other screws should be able to go pretty much anywhere else from there. Hope that helps with the upgrade on your GL75 Leopard. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Bingo. Let's go, Mario.